So yeah, the title is right. I did downgrade my graphic card for more performance. So let's check it out. Now, if you guys been watching my channel for a couple of weeks, you know that I've been into large language models like ChatGPT and also Stable Diffusion for generative art. So anytime you have to deal with processing power, having more CUDAs is better. So hence why I downgraded my graphic card to an older generation just for more CUDA and more RAM. Now, I do want to thank Robert or his name R Middle in my Discord channel for advising this because this graphic card is actually not that pricey. I managed to pick this up on eBay for $118, which is the M40 24 gigabyte version. Now the current graphic card that I've been doing this process with up until now is the 1070 8 gigabyte. But comparatively for gaming performance, the 1070 is actually about 35 to 40% faster than the M40. But in the reverse role, the M40 is actually much faster at doing computation stuff than it is the 1070 by about 40%. Hence why I decided to do this jump because I just needed that much more horsepower. Now again, this is an older generation card. This is running Maxwell, hence M40. And the 1070 is on a newer generation, which is the Pascal architecture. I think the 2080 is turning and the 3080 is ampere. So if you notice the names in the front, which is like K80, M40, P40, or A5000, that stands for what generation that card or architecture that card is using. Now, the biggest feature about this being that it's only $118, I do get 24 gigs of video RAM, which makes a huge difference on even doing any task. While the eight gigabyte is good enough to run certain things, you just can't do a lot of the stuff that the 24 gigabyte can. This is just like saying, bringing a sports car or a pickup truck to Home Depot to buy wood. You're gonna be able to pick up the pieces of wood that you need with the pickup truck, you might not be able to pick up all the stuff that you want with a sports car. So that's the difference. Now, as far as the specs go compared to these two cards, the 1070 has 1,922 CUDA cores, while the M40 Tesla card has 3,072 CUDA cores, which is almost an extra thousand CUDA cores than the 1070. Since this is on a new architecture, it is a little bit faster, but because of the sheer amount of CUDA cores that this one has and the amount of RAM, uh, the processing power is a little bit stronger on the Tesla card. The 1070 could do about 6.5 or 6 teraflops of data, while the M40 can do about 7. If you really want to compare, my 3080 can do 118 teraflops. So it's hands down way much quicker than these two cards. But again, my 3080 only have 10 gigs of video RAM. Again, I still can't process all the stuff that I need to process that the 24 gigabyte RAM can do. So if you're just learning or playing around with this, this is actually not a bad card to pick up. Now, because this is a Tesla card, this is made for server. So it doesn't have any fans. It doesn't have any HDMI output. It doesn't have anything that a desktop graphic card would use similar to like this. So I did have to create this little blower fan model that will actually stick to the back of this card so I could have a blower style fan to cool off the card. And I still have to make a couple of revisions. As you can see, I still have the blue tape down here. Uh, for certain things. And when the design is finished for this, uh, I'll probably post it up on my Discord or something like that. Second thing is you do need to run a second graphic card with this. So if you have an onboard graphic card or a second smaller graphic card that has HDMI output, you will need to use it for this because this just to have no HDMI output so your PC won't even post. Uh, you also need a newer motherboard, uh, anything B350 and up, which is for AMD uh, CPUs and whatever equivalent to what Intel would use, just because you need to have uh, P4 support. These types of graphic card uses a huge amount of bar space. So yeah, a newer generation motherboard will do. As far as performance goes, when generating images using stable diffusion at 512 by 512 pixels on the 1070, it takes about 15 seconds. While using the same specs and same prompts, uh, the NVIDIA M40 will take about nine seconds. You get about like say 30 to 40% increase in speed by using the Tesla card over the 1070. It's more apparent when you do some larger tasks like training your face or training anything, you will see that this will reduce it by a huge amount of time. So for training my face at 512 pixels with two batch counts, uh, this will take about an hour and 30 to an hour and 40 minutes, while this one takes about 50 minutes. So the huge difference is when you start throwing bigger tasks at it that uses more video RAM. Now, the limitations on the graphic card, because it's eight gigs, I only can do about 960 by 540 for a 16 by nine ratio. 
Anything bigger than that, this will not process. It will just run out of RAM. While this could go up to 1920 by 1080. And I have a screenshot of it showing using about 17 gigs of VRAM just to generate an image with those pixel size. So again, it goes back to that whole thing about sports car and pickup truck. Even though I have a 3080 that could probably do this 10 times faster or 100 times faster, I just can't do those types of images because the VRAM is not enough. Now, here are all the downsides to doing this process. And if I was to do it all over again, would I? I was a little too hasty on buying the M40. Uh, while this is a great card and it could do a lot of the stuff, I would have probably preferred buying the P40. Now, if you're only using stable diffusion just to do generative art, the M40 will be great for that. Especially if you want to spend an extra couple of bucks, you could get the Quadro version, which is the M6000, which comes with the blower fan and HDMI output, so you don't have to run two graphic cards. But for, the, for anything, Thing that has to do with generative art or stable diffusion uh, the m40 can handle that no problem the problem runs when you are trying to run llms like large language models the newer large language models that we have right now like 13b 7b uh, we all quantize them to four bits the m40 does not support four bits so we can't even run the large language models off the graphic card which is half the reason why i did purchase this graphic card so again my decision on buying this was a little too hasty because of that i would have went for the p40 which actually supports the four bit and i would have had a better time just uh generating large language models but again i needed a graphic card with at least 24 gigabytes of video ram just to even do certain tasks that I want to with stable diffusion. So I've been having a lot of fun with this card. I don't regret buying it, but if I was to take my time and look again, I would probably buy the Pascal version, which is the P40. Second thing you need to notice, these are server cards. They're not meant for desktop. You do have to uh, somehow get a fan through this to blow the air, the hot air out, or it will overheat and shut down or not work. So you do need to figure out some alternative way of getting the heat to come out of this card. Also, you do need a second graphic card. So those are the things that you have to come up with and decide whether or not you want to run this type of card. Even though it's cheaper, those are the things you have to figure out. Anyway, well, that is it for me, guys. I do really like using the M40, being able to actually do the task that I tell it to is a huge accomplishment in itself compared to a 1070. So yeah, if you are starting to get into AI and stuff like that, do yourself a favor and try to pick up one of these older generation uh, P40s or M40s type of graphic cards so you just have enough video RAM to do what you need. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.